Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can do the operation sum if in R. We're going to use the dplr package for this task, so let's start by loading the package. Let's check some dataset. We are going to use this dataset for the first example and the Star Wars dataset for the second example. Let's retrieve the dataset. If you want to know more about the dataset, just use the help function. Here you have the description of the dataset. Now let's view the dataset. For the first example, what you want to do is to sum the values in decrease if treatment corresponds to this level, to these different levels. So these are, as you can see from here, treatment level. So we want to sum decrease for all D, for all E, for all B, and so on. So let's check how we can do this in R. First of all, let's work on a copy. So we avoid writing this long name. Now, we're going to use the group underscore by function in the dplr package. EF, pipeline operator, group underscore by treatment, pipeline operator, mutate, that is, generate a new column that we call sum decrease, that is equal to the sum of the values in decrease and we remove the missing value. In other words, sum the value in decrease by grouping by treatment. Let's run. Now we have here the first uh, 10 rows. So let's check. First observation, the value for decrease is 57. The treatment is D and the value here for all the decrease for the treatment D is 280. Let's check B. Third observation, single value of decrease is 8. Treatment B, all the value of decrease for the treatment B is 61. In fact, here we have 61 because this is treatment B. Let's check C. We have 202, 202. So let's uh, verify for the letter D. So what we are doing here, we are subsetting the dataset DF if treatment is equal to D. Let me show this part of the code. We are subsetting DF for treatment equal D. So what we are doing now, we are generating this new column, sum D, that is the sum of the value in decrease for all this data set, for all D. Now, we did not include remove missing value because as you can see from here, we don't have any. If we were correct, we should get 280. Let's run. 280. 280. So this is what we did, but for all the different level of treatment. Now, let me show you something. Here, if we run DF, as you can see, we don't have the column SAMD and we don't have the column SAM decrease. The reason is because we just printed this result. We didn't assign this code to any object, and also this code here, we just printed. We did not assign this code. In the next example, we are going to assign the code to an object. So let's move to the second example. In this second example, we take the mean of a column if the values in another column are greater or equal to a given value. So let's retrieve the dataset Star Wars. Let's view it. So we have name, height, master, color, and so on. What we want to do for species? We want to group by species. As you can see, we have human, droid, uh, Wookiee, Rodian, hat, and so on. 
So we want to group by species and take the average of the mass if height is greater or equal to 200. Let me show first this part of the code here. We are selecting name, mass, gender, species. Let's run. As you can see, we have name, height, mass, gender, species. Why height? Here we are going to we are using the colon operator. It is from name to mass, name, height, and mass, and then we have gender and species. Then we are grouping by species. We are generating this new column avg underscore mass 200 and we are going to use the function case underscore when. If height is greater or equal uh, to 200, we take the mean of mass where height is greater or equal to 200. We are removing the missing value. I'm going to explain this part of the code at the end. If height is less than 200, just return the value in mass. So we are assigning this operation to df, as you can see from the assignment operator. In the previous example, we did not use any assignment operator. Let's run. Let's view it. So, Luke Skywalker is a human, height less than 200, mass 77, average 77. Because of this part of the code, where we say if height is less than 200, return the value in mass. C3PO is a droid, height less than 200, mass 75, 75. Let's check here, Darth Vader, 202, so height is greater than 200, mass is 136, and here 136. Why? Because in this case, Darth Vader is the only human who is taller than 200. As you can see here. Let's check another species. Wookie. Uh, Chewbacca. Height greater than 200. Mass 112. The average is 124. Why? Because we have another Wookie. Tarfoon. Height greater than 200. Mass 136. And the average is 124. As for Chewbacca. Let's check another example. Here we have uh, Gangan, three representatives. One is height less than 200, so mass 66, 66. The other two, height greater than 200, but we have a missing value. And this is the reason why 82 is returned, because it is just returned the value where we have. Uh, the value and not the missing value. So let's check them. Here, let's subset the F for species equal Wookie. So as you can see, we have two of them, both greater than 200, and this is the average. Let's check the other one. Two of them with the missing value here. And here we have 66 because this is less than 200, 82 because we are removing the missing value. But let's check this. Width is a function where we are attaching this data set, and this allows R to understand that mass and height belong to this data set. So we are taking the average of mass where height is greater or equal than 200, and we are removing the missing value. So if we are correct, we should get 82. Now, if we remove this, this part of the code and we run, we get the missing value. So this is what removing missing value is doing. Now, let's check for human. So we have already seen that Darth Vader is the only one is taller than 200. This is the reason why this case for the species human 136 is equal here to the average 136 for uh, Darth Vader. Now let's go back to this part of the code here. 
and let's remove it. Uh, let's replace df here because we are working now on df. And let's comment out this part of the code here because we want to keep this column. And we generate a new column. Let's add v2 here. Basically, the code is the same. We just remove the, the part in the parentheses here. So let's run. Let's check it. Now, Luke Skywalker, 77, 77, 77. C3PO, 75, 75, 75. And the reason is because this part of the code did not change. What about that further? 136, 136, 82.78182. Why? Because now we are taking the average of all the column mass for human. Let's check it. This is human. So we take the average of mass for human. So we are removing the missing value. We get this result. This one. On the other hand, when we use the bracket, we basically we restricted the average only to the value where the height is greater than 200. So as you can see here, with this code here, we still we are working only uh, on the case of Darth Vader for human, because height needs to be greater or equal than 200. But what changed is here, mass now is all mass. But what we want is mass if height is greater or equal to 200. And this is what the part of the code in the brackets was doing. I hope this is useful and if you enjoyed this video, see you in the next one.